All right, do you guys want to go to Japan? Do you want to know what the people are like, what the culture is like in Japan? In this video, we're going to go over just that. So when you go to Japan, you might find out um, pretty quickly that the people are very nice. They're super polite. They're very respectable um, and respectful towards foreigners and each other. People will often, you might be walking through the streets in Japan and you see someone go like this or go like this. Generally they'll go like this. It's kind of like in Japanese culture, um, it's very respectful to like in, especially in Japanese tea ceremonies or different ceremonies, they'll bow. You know, it's often you know known throughout Asia that sometimes you know bowing is a, a, a sign of respect. In Japan, it's it's very much the norm there for people to when they meet you, they might look down or they might bow a little bit. It's not very common that a complete stranger will just stare you down as you're walking down the street. Um, I know some other cultures that aren't like that, but in the states. Often people will just look at you as they're walking through the streets and be like, you know, who's this guy? What do they what do they want? You know, they're just checking you out. But in Japan it's very common just to look away or not not look at the other person. It's seen as kind of a an aggressive form of body language. Um, another thing is the people there are they're just just really, really helpful. I know I mentioned this in another video, but I was in the train station and I'm just gonna go briefly over it, but I was in the train station and this guy stopped everything he was doing to help me out and help me find out basically where I needed to go to get the next train, me and my buddy. And it's just it's just different living there. It, they are very um, very passive compared to a lot of the Western world, but it's it's like the the idea of being super respectful can be, you know, Kind of tagged along with the trait of being kind of passive and less aggressive. There is obviously people who are more aggressive there, but overall, in general, the majority of the culture is very passive, very respectful, very kind. Um, they're not too intense. They're very calm people for the most part. Uh, they might be, you know, a little anxious when it comes to their work, but they're super, super hard workers. Especially in mainland Japan, they don't even have like, a lot of companies. Don't even have a lot of free time. Like they have their regular holidays and whatnot, but a lot of companies don't have like, you know, you don't get two to four weeks off or a month off. Uh, well, four weeks is a month. You don't get like, you know, a ton of vacation time. Some companies have very little vacation time or no vacation time. I mean, I've heard um, from friends in Japan that they have their company they didn't have. They weren't allowed to have you know any vacation time. Yeah, they could. They got sick, or you know, certain holidays that came up, they got time off. But um, besides the weekends and those holidays, they didn't really have you know any scheduled or or um, like they weren't really given you know set vacation time to be able to take off you know throughout the year. But um, besides that, I mean, they're really really hardworking people. They do everything right, they're very, very clean. Tokyo is probably one of the cleanest cities I've ever been to. Super, super clean city. I mean, there's no trash cans anywhere. It's a huge city. I think it has like 30 something million people in the city and there's no trash. No trash anywhere, but there's no trash can. So everybody's very careful to take their trash with them. I'm sure on the outskirts of Japan or Tokyo, you can find maybe like some trash and whatnot, but, um, I've even seen documentaries and stuff on the homeless people there. They're very clean and they're the biggest way they get through life is they collect, you know, certain types of trash and then they sell it and then they're able to, you know, buy some food or some sake or different things. But um, yeah, the people there are very they're almost it's weird, they're past but they're they're very straightforward when it comes to certain things. They're, they're kind of open about, you know, talking about certain stuff at the same time. Um, other things they they don't talk about, they don't mention. It's kind of like, it just depends on um, if you're just meeting complete strangers or if you kind of get to know the culture. Obviously, when you get to know the people, they kind of let loose a little bit, if you, especially if you're drinking with them. They might act a little bit more 
you know, uh, loose and intense. And but they are they're very cool people. I definitely definitely recommend going to Japan. Completely different culture than anywhere else I've been in the world. Uh, I definitely want to move back there for some time to study some Japanese and learn how to properly speak the language and enjoy the culture. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that here in the next few years. But um, yeah, this has been a video on the, what are the people like in Japan. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Hopefully, it was useful and entertaining. If it was, just give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about Japan, traveling different countries and vlogs, um, just subscribe and hit that bell icon. And every time I post a video, which is three times a week, you will be notified. All right, guys. We'll take care. Peace out. Have a great day. It just ain't the same. Call me.